After this video, you will know all the different interfaces of the ADMA and the purposes of using them. Furthermore, you will be able to notice different states by understanding the LEDs. The antenna 1 connector has to be connected to the main antenna. GNSS antenna 2 is only needed for dual antenna systems. The DC in connector needs a power input of 9 to 32 volt DC. If power is connected, the first LED turns on and after the system has booted, the second LED gets powered. The ADMA is ready for operation now. The power consumption depends on the system but never increases above 25 watts. The modem port is used for connecting the ADMA to an UHF radio modem or a GPRS modem for getting correction data. If the configuration in the ADMA web interface for using a radio modem is done, the modem LED turns on. The signal out port can be used for synchronization of the data acquisition. The signal in port is used for digital and analog input. CAN1 and CAN2-5 to are used for CAN data output. CAUTION! Terminating resistors are usually pre-installed in the connector. The LED turns on as soon as data is sent. Ethernet 1 is used for the ADMA configuration via web interface and for data output. Every Ethernet interface can be used for data output. The first Ethernet LED is powered when the ADMA is connected to another device. The second LED is blinking when data is sent. The Ethernet interface got a fallback IP address as shown. The system is always reachable at this IP. The interfaces we didn't explain, like extern velocity or barrow, are just used in specific cases and will be demonstrated in another tutorial series. Thanks for watching. For further information, please visit our website or get in touch with us.